Good morning, Pastor Jay here with your Friday devotion, and I'm back in the men's group room here on their comfy couch, and we're going to continue our examination of the Lord's Prayer. We are up to the sixth petition, and what we say in church is, and lead us not into temptation. And that really sounds like God is leading us down the path, doesn't it? Like God is getting us into trouble. But I actually like the modern version here better. Uh, and what we say in the modern version is, save us from the time of trial. Yeah. You know, I really don't want to face things in my life that I can't resist. I don't want to face situations where I could get myself in trouble, where I could hurt others, uh, where I could hurt my family. I don't want to face such things. Save me from that time of trial. And that's really what we're praying. I mean, all of us have something in our life that we're tempted by. All of us have something that can get us into trouble. And we're saying, Lord, save us from that time of tempting. Save us from that time of trial. And here's what uh, Martin Luther says about this. What is this or what does this mean? It is true that God tempts no one. But we ask in this prayer that God would preserve us and keep us so that the devil, the world, and our flesh, in other words, our weakness, may not deceive us and mislead us into false belief, despair, or other great and shameful sins. You know what that makes me think of is somebody that goes on a rampage, somebody that uh, just gets out of control. Maybe they have a moment in traffic and they just do a road rage thing and they look back on it like, why'd I do that? Or maybe someone who has too much to drink and they get behind the wheel and they hurt someone and it's totally inexcusable, but that person is just eaten up with guilt because they say, why did I do it? You know, why did that happen to me? So those are the great and shameful sins talked about here. And he goes on, and that although we may be attacked by them, we may finally prevail and gain the victory. Notice that, attacked by them. You know, the Bible says that we're struggling against powers more than just our own weakness or uh, bad things happening in the world. We're fighting against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. In other words, uh, beyond this world, supernatural forces that can bring us down. And what we're saying is, God, please don't let us face that. Keep us on the right path. Give us good friends. Give us a good church where we can learn and grow and we can turn away from things that can harm us and our families and our friends. Um, so that's really what we're praying today. We're not praying, oh, Lord, please don't lead me into temptation. What we're praying is save me from that time of trial. Lord, help me not to go where I shouldn't go, like we talked about last time with trespassing. Lord, keep me out of that, that yard that's not mine. Keep me out of that situation that I shouldn't be in. Save me from that time of trial or time of testing, because I know that I might give in. I know that I might do the wrong thing, and I don't want to do that because I want to be your servant. I want to be a good member of my family. I want to do the right thing. I want to shine for you in the world, and if I'm doing things I shouldn't, uh, it's going to be darkness rather than light. So Lord, save me from that time of trial. Lead me not into temptation. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know you don't lead anybody in temptation. You're not trying to bring us down. Lord, you're trying to lift us up. And so what we pray, pray today, Lord, is that when we encounter things that could tempt us, things that could lead us down the wrong path, we pray that uh, we would have the strength to resist uh, and even better, Lord, don't let us get in that position to start with. Save us from that time of trial because we want to serve you. We want to walk with you. We want to shine for you in this world. Father, help us to do this through the Holy Spirit, through the presence and teaching of your son, Jesus, in every day of our life. Help us, Lord, to do what's right. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Uh, I hope you've had a good week, and I hope to see you, whether you're tuning in to our service uh, at 9 or 11.15 on Sunday here at Christ the King, or whether you can be there in person, that's even better. Uh, I hope to encounter you this coming Sunday. God bless you.